at the moment it's the dream scenario. Like I'm not in pain. It's going really, really well. 16 days ago, Helena had her leg amputated at the knee. It was her choice because over the last six years, it had caused her bouts of excruciating pain. To not have pain is kind of a bit weird because I'm so used to it. Um, so I'm just like a Duracell bunny. I just want to do everything. <laughs> Helena excelled at kayaking, but when she was 16, she twisted her knee doing it. What should have healed in weeks developed into a condition called complex regional pain syndrome. After trying many therapies unsuccessfully, Helena opted for the last resort, one many people struggle to understand. They think of it as a negative. They're like, well, you're disabling yourself even more. Why would you do that? Because they see me walking around, they see me doing stuff. And I'm like, yeah, but you don't see what goes on behind the screen. You know, you don't see the crying and pain, the not being able to sleep, the piles of medication that I'm on just to make myself look normal. Complex regional pain syndrome, or CRPS, is usually triggered by a minor injury like a fracture. It prompts an abnormal response from the nervous system, flooding the brain with signals that cause severe pain, often accompanied by swelling, joint stiffness and extreme skin sensitivity. Poorly researched and often misunderstood by doctors, the first treatment guidelines considering amputation were only published last year. The doctor in charge of drawing them up says there is still too little evidence to make it a recommended treatment. We know that patients will want it anyway, even against medical advice. So we then said, um, OK, so let's just if patients want it against advice, let's make sure that they know what would be a safe approach to it. At my worst, like it's a burning pain, burning, stabbing pain. So it's like your legs on fire. Five News first featured Helena a year and a half ago. It's really weird because I've started to forget what it's really like, how depressing it was and how isolating it was. But although she's now gone public with her drastic decision, she's clear her choice isn't for everyone. Don't go and amputate your limb just because it's worked for one person. It's not worth the risk. That's because there is still a chance her debilitating symptoms could return. But right now, Helena is doing her utmost to give herself the best chance of getting her life back. Catherine Jones, 5 News.